Um, you said question six, homework six or example six? Example six. Well, homework six is also up in there, it's question four, six. Back home, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is like <coughs> class one. Okay. What do you lost? Question one is the, question one is the mid Question two is the two state binomial option price, which is homework four. So two, four. Question two is H4, okay? Question three is H6, right. homework six. Then we have a different section now. That's all options. Now we're moving into the, after the midterm. So this is the class that we'll be taking. Section two is futures and forwards as well. Question four, we're going to question one, two, three, four, or question one of section two, without confusing anyone. That's the uh, homework seven, right? Question five is homework eight. Question six, it will be either example five or example, so example four to five. Okay, actually hold on, uh, three, four, or five. Three, four, or five. I mean, exactly. Assume the kind of future is silver, whatever other currency or whatever commodity I'm gonna use. You gotta create this little table. I'm gonna have this table for you. You have to put in the money. Okay? So that's six questions. Are we all clear with six questions? And you said uh, question six is three, four, or five? Yeah, or one of the three. One of the three, okay. 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 Third section. Third section is on FRAs and what we did in the last class, the last two classes, and option, option in, interest rate, option interest rate, interest rate option. Okay, there, since we didn't have a homework on that, okay, there we're gonna, um, let me see. <coughs> By the way, this is a different class with the grades. So, okay. <laughs> I have so many things off there, this is ridiculous. Yeah, that's the exam for another class. I teach four classes, okay? Four classes, right? Yeah. That would be, uh, hold on. Basically, what I'm gonna try to open, maybe I didn't know, not here. Actually, let me go back. So, um, so you know, if you go to the lecture ten, FRAs and swaptions, uh, there is a, a website. I mean, um, there is a spreadsheet called FRAs and swaptions. So that link, I thought I opened it. I guess not. This one here, this baby. Okay, if you look at this, it has four different spreadsheets. You're only gonna know the FRA value and price, okay? And um, nothing with swap, and hedging with FRAs, those two. Now, hedging with FRAs, we didn't get into it, but uh, let me get him a little more specific so I can help you. You don't have to skip this whole spreadsheet, okay? 
So we didn't really get it. Yeah, we didn't get it to the evaluation of that stuff. So, so you're gonna read what we want on the board, so that's on my lecture though. Let's go to my lecture now. Don't, don't open the spreadsheet at all? Yeah, forget about it. Okay. okay, let's go to my lecture 10, right? Lecture 10. Bunch of examples, right? And we walk through these examples. Okay, so we forgot about this example. And this example. So we're gonna have one question on FRAs, right? Okay, and the, we're not gonna do valuations. We're gonna have an example like this one, the red one here. Okay, and then we're gonna have one example of the, of interest rate options. Which is this one here. This is a few examples. So read this, this whole chapter. Now all this stuff is from the book, so if you want to get into a little more what I went through on the board. But obviously uh, evaluation on the uh, on the we use black show or whatever. But uh, if you look at the example before, it's just straightforward trying to calculate the uh, you know, on the FRA part, it's just trying to calculate if the LIBOR moves. Remember, I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm gonna give you a LIBOR, a fixed, a fixed rate, and you're gonna look at different movements of LIBOR and what is the actual uh, contract that the bank has to pay. It's exactly what we put on the, on the board. And I have it here, right? The $49,000, mm -hmm. whatever that is. Right here, this one here. This is the, this, this example given in the exam. Okay, that's that example, that one. That one example for this question, and then this is for the FIH. What was the other example? Well, I'm gonna get to it. Oh, so this, this example is This question set. set, exactly. Question eight. Question eight will be this valuation here. Okay. For centers rate call put options with notion amount of twenty million by a very base. And you just have to make the uh, black show. We did, we did this in class. Yeah, but it's almost like the same. The uh, FRAs, you lock in the rate now, you're on a choice. By the time you pay the LIBOR, when you pay the LIBOR, the LIBOR is set. If the LIBOR is higher, because you do a long position, you're going to get paid. You can cover your hedge, hedge yourself against the mortgage. If the rates are lower, you have to pay out. And this one, you have the option to actually exercise the uh, taking the LIBOR or not. So if the LIBOR, of course, is going to be uh, lower, you won't take that option. Because S minus X is negative. If your LIBOR is higher, you might take it. But S minus X is positive, so you're going to take that. Same thing as options. Yeah. Do you need to know the Investopedia example? No. I'll put that Investopedia just to show another way of doing the example of options. Same. Okay? Any questions? Let's go. I are call I are put in, right? Sir? I are call I are put using black show. Yeah, you're gonna be put or call. Call option. You say you gotta review the formula because the formula you put that time on blackboard that was wrong. 
we just a little like if this one can you pull up? Exactly on the book. So if you want to review the book post tool, is very detailed. I mean, I took this out of the book, basically. Okay. So if you want to copy the book, if you bring the book with you, that's that's me. Whatever. I don't care. But no laptops, right? Yes. So if I was me, I would print all this stuff with me, and I study those. You can write the old fashioned way the formulas next to it, or whatever, or you can study. Okay? The problem is, um, you know, the exam is two hours. I think two hours you can handle it. I was going to add one or two other questions in there, but I think eight questions should be done with calculations. So um, it should be a straightforward exam. I never gave an exam the first time I teach, so that's why. I gave exam for derivatives for sure, but I didn't give exam for your for a thin hall. So it's going to be the first. I'm still creating it. I actually have it here. I created about half half of it. So I was winning it in the last two questions. Anything else? Yeah. You heard about the story about this guy who missed the exam. And um, so they said, What are you going to do? They're going to make out some excuse. So they went to the professor and said, Well, we had a flat tire. Uh, the story? The flat, so. yeah, flat tire. Don't say the flat tire. Okay. So <laughs> the. Uh, there's always one. <laughs> anyway, so they, uh, they went to the professor and said, We're going to have a flat tire. Said, okay, can we take the exam? And they're, yeah, fine. Just come back tomorrow and take it. So they had another thing. So when they come here, I said, look, I'm not going to proctor, so you're going to sit in this room, I'm going to send someone in another room, and someone in a different room. And he said, for 50 points, before the exam starts, identify which tire it is. <laughs> we got four. Okay? I mean, that was an easy question if the truth, the story was true. Right? And then you have 50 points to work on the next exam. But I guess they were lying, so now we're trying to figure out it was me. But it's something you would know, okay? If something happened. Okay. So I will probably put a question, something not to do with the exam. I mean, that's my point. If I put Which class did you take the last class? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Nice number, the question was Tyrus. Tyrus class. Huh? Just ask which Tyrus class. You got one in 14. Yeah, but you don't have a problem. Yeah. Okay, any question? Very straightforward, this is reading day, so go and read. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have it at the same class upstairs, I mean, yes. So Yeah. <laughs> 